This podcast is a casual conversation about mental health. All topics discussed are based on our own personal opinions and should not be interpreted as professional advice. If you need assistance with your mental health, please contact a healthcare provider. I'm overstimulated. Expect the long awaited evolution of my brain. But if mentally we synchronize, despite what we despise, there's a chance that maybe I won't go insane. Hi, friends. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mental Sync, the only show where we have no clue what we're doing, but we just do it anyway. No clue at all. Also, the only show with a six star rating on Yelp. <laughs> six star rating. Six stars on Yelp. on Yelp. Thank you to whoever yeah. gave us that anonymous uh, rating on Yelp. Yeah, you know, it wasn't me or John. <laughs> you know, and <laughs> there's definitely not only five stars. No, 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 no. Anyway, today we're going to talk about communication. Communication. It's about when you talk to people and then they listen and then they talk back and then you listen and that continues on uh, for forever. Until Just death. Until death. <laughs> it's perfect. All right. So I feel like it'd be good to um, introduce our guest because we yeah. have a guest. We have a very special guest with us today on the podcast, and that is yes. my younger sibling, Liv. Liv, Liv, welcome to the podcast. Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Liv's going to talk to us all about communication because Liv is, uh, in my opinion, Liv is one of the better communicators uh, that I interact with on a regular basis. And it's for, I think, many reasons that we're going to get into a little bit on the podcast today. Um, yeah. we, already, we, we already did one communication episode. We did the one about uh, relationships. Yes. Um, and that was, I think, more so about the idea of like romantic relationships and talking about communication between like partners and uh, stuff yeah. like that. Or maybe between there was friends, also friendships, too. Friendships but also. I feel like I feel like it wasn't I feel like in this episode, we're going to try to go into like the different forms of communication a little bit more yeah. and like and how like everybody communicates differently and how we respond to that and that kind of stuff. So. Um, because that was the episode where we talked about um, ghosting as a form of communication. Yes, that's right. Ghosting <laughs> as a form of communication. Because I have been ghosted <laughs> <laughs> well, numerous times. Yeah. Well, cause, so that's the thing that I think it'd be really fun to get into because we've talked about like the results of different kinds of communication. But what we want to talk about today is different types of communicators. Uh, and I think a big thing is that there are many different types of communication. There are a lot of different ways to communicate. And I think something that's important is having ways of compartmentalizing and defining like the different types of communication uh, that you may have or that other people may choose to do or not choose to do. Um, right. I don't have the wording there exactly. But <laughs> the idea kind of being that there are a lot of different methods that people will use to like compartmentalize ways of communicating and whether or not you agree with or uh, believe in those methods of organization. Um, I, I, I guess I'm just going to say like one of those methods of organization that we're going to talk about today is astrology, astrology based. Um, not everyone. And Liv is our astrology expert. So. Liv is our astrology expert expert uh and not everyone necessarily believes in astrology and that's absolutely fine um but i think what we want to get into is it's not really about whether or not you believe in it but it's about how it can help you just understand the different ways of communicating it, it can help you learn more about yourself it can help you learn about more about other people uh i'm gonna pass it just over to Liv because Liv can speak to this much better than i can <laughs> I mean, you're doing good so far, though. Um, Sick. Cool. But it can it can totally help you reflect on things. Um, I'm also gonna say thank you for deeming me the astrology expert. Mm -hmm. I by no means I don't have a degree in this. This is a fun little <laughs> hobby for me. Um, I did teach an astrology class this summer though, which was really really fun, um, and I really enjoy. And it's something you can always like learn about and grow with. But I am by no means like an official but thank you for deeming me that sure. giving me the title I, sure you I know, know that in you our don't book. have a <laughs> you don't have a certification <laughs> but you like teach yeah. 
classes on I feel like astrology. That's, that, and... that like that equals yeah, 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 yeah. expert in my <laughs> book. So you know, just... yeah. I'm all well, for thank it. you. All right. Well, so thank you. Um, but yeah. So no, it can totally um, help you reflect on uh, your life, on things going on. Um, there is definitely duality with like how much um, you take from astrology in your life versus um, I don't really know just it's um, a really interesting kind of a practice Um, Mm -hmm. and it's it's really fun and interesting there's um, all these different there's well I'm going to explain what astrology is for a minute if that's cool please yeah yeah, please get into it let's go so Basically, in astrology, you have this thing called a birth chart, which is super fun and cool. Um, The planets all rotate around the sun, which we know. Mm -hmm. And basically, there's the constellations outside of the planets. So where the planets are and aligned with those constellations and the sun when you were born is your birth chart. Um, So you have like a Mercury sign. Mercury is the planet of communication, which is what we're going to talk about. Um, Whoa, it all ties together. Wow, wow. (laughs) I feel like I should quickly Uh, um, make sure that I know what mine is. Um, Just (laughs) let me just remember. Get into it. it Yeah. Um, But yeah. And so just each planet is in a certain constellation, um, is aligned with a certain constellation. And that can inform how you go about things in your life um, and how you may act or how you are by yourself versus how you are with other people and things like that. Um, So yeah, whenever I teach this class or I teach things about astrology, this is like the duality I was talking about. I I normally do it with kids. Um, I did it with teens this summer, but I I always tell them um, everybody's different absolutely everybody's Mm -hmm. different so like you can take as much as i'm saying but you learning about your mercury sign for example your venus sign your sun sign is very specific to you as a person and it's the same for your communication style your communication style is specific to you as a person um and there's all these different communication styles i'm also a psych major um and so there's all these different ways that you can communicate with people and there's all these different categories but they're very very specific to you at the end of the day and like you've had a very different life than other people have um so nobody's going to be the same in that kind of a sense Mm -hmm. you're never going to find that perfect harmony with communicating with people necessarily you can find a really good balance find a really good path but you're never going to be exactly the same if that makes sense yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah. Something I, uh, that I also want to mention uh, is that I, I was definitely someone for a long time that was very, very skeptical, very skeptical about astrology, about because I, I've said on the podcast before, I don't consider myself to be a particularly spiritual person. Uh, I can be very, very ones and zeros, very science based. Um, and I think what's great about astrology, which I will say I have become convinced, I love it, and I think it's super fascinating. Uh, but to me, it's it's not even about whether or not it's, like, real, whether or not it's, like, true. It's just such, e- even if it's not true, even if it's all completely made up, it's a bunch such of barbalarkey. A, f- a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of balarkey. That's my favorite word. <laughs> um, barbalarkey. <laughs> it's barbalarkey. I've never heard that. I've heard balarkey. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, it's barbalarkey. Bar- it's barbalarkey. Well, it's well. You're from Massachusetts, though, so it's babalaki. <laughs> no, because my friend from New Hampshire said it once, and then I've convinced people to say it. Like I started saying it. Now my dad says it. Danielle okay. says it. Danielle's mom says it. Like her mom goes around saying that things are a bunch of barbalarkey, and I'm like, Wicked you're right. Wicked No. <laughs> I'm pre- Yeah, we're saying the same thing. <laughs> um anyway anyway the point being um it's such a fantastic tool for to to like introspect with to learn about yourself right and i i'd like to add to just um for anybody too who's not like really into astrology like what's what's interesting for me is you could just like look at something like right like you let's say you look at your like whatever you are in Mercury and you read it and you're like, okay, actually that kind of sounds like me, or that doesn't sound like me, whatever your opinion is on whatever you've read, but you can sit there. And what I've done is taken it with like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like I never thought about like this type of communication 
you know, before. So I could take it as like, yeah, this is exactly what I do, but now I have an understanding for what I do. Or it's like, oh, I never thought of it this way before. And it helps me to like grow in a way that's like more productive in my communication style, um, which I I think is kind of like what we're trying to say as like a whole for this episode is like, you know, like we think it's really interesting just personally, you know, which is why we're like, Liv, let's talk about this because this is cool. But I think we also want to just point out too that like, even if you're not into that, it just might be a way for you to explore maybe like something you didn't understand about yourself. Like just because you like read it and you're like, oh, actually that's interesting. Like I never thought about it, but I do kind of do that. Or like, I don't mm-hmm. do that, but but I know somebody who does that. And now it's in perspective for you to kind of like become a better communicator because at the end of the day, all we're going to do for the rest of our lives is communicate with different people. So to be able to break down your style of communication and other people's can really help us all kind of just understand each other a little bit better. Liv, we knew that we would be bringing you on for this episode, and we knew that we'd be talking about Mercury signs directly related to communication. And so um, what we looked up were different uh, ways that Mercury signs will communicate if they if they are an earth element, fire element, water element, or air element. Uh, and the mm-hmm. words, I, we found a few different words and compiled it into what we thought was... Uh, three words each to to have a great description of how each element communicates. And I want to know your thoughts on this. And Uh, I would like, because I don't think John, you know, like what mine is like my, what like Mercury is in for me. So I'm kind of curious to see which one. I feel like we talked about this, but I don't remember. I would just like to know out of the list that we have with like the words that we've come up with, what you think too, when you're done going through these, because I'm just curious as to like, yeah. Because obviously, like, even though I am a water sign, like, my, like... Yeah, everything you know, about you reads water sign. No, I'm um, no. a cancer. You're a cancer? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, cool, cool. <laughs> so, the words that we had put together uh, for Earth communicators, uh, or just Earth people in general, uh, <laughs> are pragmatic, efficient, and tenacious. Just meaning, I, ex- I don't know what tenacious means. <laughs> if you're gonna uh, just it. extremely <laughs> um, uh, grounded and centered and sure of sure of themselves. Just a, like yeah. If if stubbornness were to be a more positive word, I think it'd be tenacious. Yes, you and know? I I agree. I think that's very true, and I think. Um, if we get into the other signs, we can compare the differences in like the earth stubborn versus Mm -hmm. like a fire sign stubborn. Right. Um, Because I think it's true, but I think that um, when an earth sign communicates, if they are being tenacious or stubborn, um, it's less about like, well, I'm right and you're wrong Mm -hmm. and I'm going to make you upset about being wrong. And it's more like, well, I'm right. And I don't really care what you think. (laughs) Right. It's less, we're just going to keep going. How I've always read it is fire is more active in the sense of like, I'm right. And I'm going to change your mind versus Mm -hmm. earth being I'm right. And I'm just going to hold my ground. You can think what you want, but I'm not going to change my mind. Yes. Yes. And that's where the groundedness comes in because it's less of like, fuel to change and more just like i'm comfortable where i am and Mm -hmm. i don't want to change that um i just find i find earth signs in general to be comfortable like they enjoy being comfortable um specifically tauruses enjoy being comfortable um when they communicate like our brother um loves to be comfy (laughs) but yeah so when they communicate he's a a very comfy boy um (laughs) But so when they when they communicate, they're just going to not put themselves in a necessarily uncomfortable situation, um, mm. which confrontation can bring up uncomfortable feelings. So All right. does that make sense? It does. Yeah. And then I think yeah. that brings us to like fire. On the other hand, the words that we have are uh, productive, unfiltered and straightforward, which unfiltered yeah. and straightforward are pretty similar. But the idea of i think being like very blunt mm-hmm. yeah and very very, very blunt you know I... like a little more at you a little more i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you yeah. i'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know what's <laughs> up with you and what you're doing wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i i'm a fire mercury as you know yeah 
I'm an I'm an Aries Mercury um, mm-hmm. and I can definitely be like that it depends on my comfortability um, but I also uh, fire Mercury's fire signs in general can or Aries at least can get labeled with like anger can get labeled with being a little out of control and chaotic um and i don't find that for myself but i think that's also just like my life and my circumstances and my anxiety not necessarily being able to let me um tell somebody how i feel so directly unless i am comfortable enough to tell them Mm. if that makes sense like i can't necessarily do it um with strangers or with people that I don't know too well, but if I know you very well and I feel like comfortable in our relationship, then I'll tell you how it is. Um, I, I probably won't hold back. And I can sometimes be a little impulsive, it's another fire sign thing, uh, when I communicate. Like I, I'm not really thinking too much about what's happening. Um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna say something and we're gonna go with it <laughs> and yeah. regardless of the consequences. So yeah, I, I agree with that for a fire sign. Um, I, I also um, should have said actually that I am an earth sign communicator. I am a Capricorn. Yes. Uh, and what I have found um, with being an earth sign communicator, I've always, it's so interesting because I've learned so much about this recently. I've always viewed it as being like a more, I don't want to say advanced, but that's definitely how I've felt of like, oh, I'm I'm a very good communicator because I can remove all of my emotions and speak very pragmatically when I'm communicating. Sure. And I think that's always been an advantage when that's what the situation calls for when like emotions are what could cause things to like i'm very good i think at relieving tension and i i think i'm good at conflict and just being like we are on the same side here let's speak factually about what's happening my emotions are not you know fueling the way that i'm speaking to you which i've always seen as a positive thing and i think it can be on the other hand, uh, I've realized recently how that can come across also as weirdly detached and like almost like I don't care what I'm communicating. Like it doesn't like emotionally affect me, which I'm like, oh, that's actually a disadvantage. <laughs> that's actually that yeah. at times it can be um, in relationships and- in conversations. That's that's been a thing for me where. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Well, and that totally depends on your perspective as well. Like some people really value that and some people might have trouble with that and need a more emotional side um, in communicating. Like there's no such thing as a good or bad sign. There's no such thing as a good or bad placement, in my opinion. It's just if you vibe, you vibe. And if you don't, you don't. And that's okay. Um, I don't know. I've had some... uh some experiences with specific signs that i'm like "Hmm, i mean maybe there's a pattern i I could touch the sign that i hate but that doesn't mean (laughs) that doesn't mean that you hate those signs as well but oh no i definitely have some qualms with signs i have some issues yeah Um, i mean that's another big thing i want to get into is about like how there are different types of communicators and none of them contrary to what i've believed for a while uh none of them are more advanced or less advanced or or better or worse but they can still clash uh and that's why i think it's important to know and that's been a big thing for me is realizing oh this person isn't bad at communicating with me they are communicating with me in a way that is working for them but i'm not quite getting and that just means there needs to be more communication about the communication because that's what it's all about (laughs) totally 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 um and i find that also with i'm just going to use you having an earth mercury for example sometimes it's hard to step out of your own pattern because you're so comfortable in Mm -hmm. your communication style you're so um grounded and you feel good about it and it's hard to step out and maybe empathize um but that might be the wrong word but just like see that other perspective and try and step into it where yeah. i feel like a, a fire sign advantage is we can do that because we're very friendly mm. personal people um which is really interesting but at the same time we are very emotionally fueled um a lot of the time which i feel That's i think people don't think that fire signs are emotionally fueled because that there's normally the stereotype of like water signs are all and i have they to are. say to that is both of my parents 
our fire signs. And they're, <laughs> it's just, you know, they're now divorced, just... happily divorced, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happily divorced. Happily divorced. <laughs> Let me tell you, though, like, some arguments were very emotionally charged from both of yeah. them. It's always emotionally charged. Totally. I, I just think fire signs are very emotional people. Um, mm. And that can help and hurt us in a variety of ways. Um, I feel so like yeah. all of it, all of it in every sense can help or hurt based on, cause it's not like you were saying, there's no good or bad signs or whatever. It's just like the cards that you're dealt and that that's the, the nature. And then the nurture is all of the other stuff in your life that then affects which parts are stronger, which parts are weaker, what, how you're able to navigate the hand you've been dealt. Totally. Totally that. Yeah. Yeah. Em, do you want to read off our, uh, our other two, our water and air words? Sure. <laughs> so, you don't have to. I just. <laughs> 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 no, I just... <laughs> so um, for water, <laughs> water signs, we have intuitive, emotional, and compassionate. Mm. Um, and then for air, we have witty, abstract, and observant. Witty, abstract, and observant. I absolutely agree with that for air. Um <sighs> I was I was uh, I was yeah. having a hard time with those words uh, in particular, but I was feeling good about. I this. I agree with that. I think air signs are very funny. I think Gemini's <laughs> are really funny. I think Gemini's are one of the funniest signs. So when you put that in a communication style, it's like you're gonna have some wit in your communication. You're going to have <laughs> one-liners. You're you're gonna yeah. have all those things. Um, a lot of the time, that's the case. Not to say that that's the case for everybody. Um. I also think that air signs, I'll get to water in a minute, but I think sure. that air signs think so much. They're constantly thinking, um, like there's no stop. So when you have, oh, well, you. So I'm not, I should <laughs> um, also say I am a, my son, my main sign, for those who don't know, is an Aquarius, which is the sign of being a, a fucking weirdo. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. it, it informs just about everything else that I do and everything else about me. That's true. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so when you put the air in a mercury, um, when you combine them together, the air sign or the mercury is probably going to think a lot about it. So like, um, if you are a Gemini mercury, you're probably going to be thinking so much about how you communicate with people or like the various interactions you're having with people. Um, like mm -hmm. if you just had a conversation with somebody, you're going to be thinking about it for a while, probably. Um, yeah, it's and funny you say that. Definitely. No, Sorry, I was just going to say it's <laughs> funny you say that because one of my roommates, Gab, uh, is uh, an air sign. She's a Gemini and also a Gemini Mercury. Uh, and mm -hmm. us, our recent like relationship developments has like really been something that's motivated me to learn more about this because it's something i've realized where i'm like oh our communication is a little different which explains why like we still have to work on the way that we communicate with each other and we're we're getting very good at it and you know it's all love but uh sometimes like it, it's like you're saying i didn't realize how uncomfortable i've gotten with different forms of communication because um the boys and i uh, as I think I've told you, Liv, I, th I think I've told you, Em, but I'm not positive. Um, the boys that I have been best friends with for the last eight years now, um, we are all Earth communicators. We are all Earth Mercuries, all four of us, which is hysterical because I wouldn't have thought that because I was like, oh, we all communicate so differently, but we don't. We communicate in exactly the same way. <laughs> and but it's you have, bananas. Like you have little nuances to all of you because you're all different right. people and you've all it... got into this place in a different way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's you crazy. share the element and you have the similarities, but you're not the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's bananas. Um, it's bananas. Um, but yes. Um, in terms air signs. of, uh... oh yeah, those were air signs. And then you wanted to get mm -hmm. into water. Sorry. Yeah. For, just for a yeah. refresher, it's intuitive, emotional, and compassionate intuitive emotional and compassionate yeah those are actually the words that i said um with my kids this summer when we were talking about hey. the the signs i had compassionate and emotional for water signs um so yeah 
That's totally true. I think that's true. Um, <laughs> for various planets in your birth chart, whenever people have a water placement in it, I'm like, oh, do you cry in, <laughs> in this way? <laughs> um, oh, do you and- cry? <laughs> Oh, the answer is yes you will, you will cry <laughs> baby cry. water sign i cry all the time um yeah and that's totally okay crying is cool first off crying, crying is, cool. is dope let's cry it out boys it. cry it out boys um i say it specifically with a mars sign mars is the planet of confrontation um conflict in general mm. um and things like that so when people have a water sign in mars i'm like oh do you cry when you're mad like do you cry a lot or do you get really emotional when you're mad and often the answer is yes um (laughs) but so when it comes to mercury um it can be a kind of similar way but it can be like emotionally driven um when you're communicating with people like you might not communicate um unless you feel very emotional about something or you might only communicate when you're feeling a lot of things like it might not be the most grounded and stable like with an earth sign um and so similar to a fire sign in the sense of like we will communicate passionately um and it is maybe driven by emotions but a fire sign might be a little more direct and bold about it and a water sign might not they might be more go with the flow in that situation they might try and pick up on the energy of the other person and see what's going on um that that kind of a thing and that really depends on the water sign i find that water signs are very very different um in general of all the elements do you mean in terms of like a a range in types of communicators amongst the water sign yeah um just in general i find that they're very individual signs even though they all fall under water umbrella um and you could probably say that about a lot of signs. I just personally, in my interactions with water signs, they've been very different. Um, so like a Cancer Mercury, for example, um, Cancers are stereotyped to be the crybaby water sign. I disagree with that personally, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> I think that Cancers, I mean, Emily, you correct me if I'm wrong because you're a Cancer, but I think Cancers <laughs> feel a lot. They just don't always necessarily show it unless they want to <laughs> um no that, doesn't, that doesn't sound like emily <laughs> um, <laughs> so when it comes to a mercury a cancer mercury they might be feeling a lot but when they're communicating they might not show it but they might be driven by those emotions if that makes sense but they might be very uh, like when they're communicating if that makes sense yeah um whereas maybe a pisces mercury they'll be the emotional ones and they'll be outwardly emotional um you you've watched euphoria emily have you watched euphoria i that's on my list of things to watch okay well for euphoria fans i think that cassie is a pisces um (laughs) so and cassie has a whole moment especially in the second season where she's very very emotionally driven um and there is no she's not grounded at all so in my opinion, that is like a very extreme version of a Pisces. Um, and then for Scorpio, Mercury, Scorpios are a little similar to Cancer where I feel like they keep it in, but I also have noticed a pattern, a trend of like, it might not necessarily be the most positive emotions. It might be a little more negative um, for a Scorpio, but it's also just very, very unique, very, very specific to them. So the emotions that they're feeling are like not, they could say like, I'm feeling sad. You could be like, I felt sad before, but they are feeling sad in a very different way, if that makes Mm. sense. Um, It's very specific to them. It's very specific to their circumstance and their situations. So yeah, I just find that there's a lot of individuality with the water signs. Interesting. So, John, now my question is, which one do you think I am? What type of communicator am I? I was like, oh, we're getting back to it now. See, this is what's tough because, like, I don't want to then discredit (laughs) all of this by being like, because that's the stereotype is people will be like, oh, what am I? Like, could you tell well, I'm, I'm a Taurus? Curious. And people will be like, yeah, no, yeah you're I'm, totally a Taurus. And they'll be like, no, I was I'm just curious lying. as you being, like, my best friend oh, and you knowing man. me the way that you do. 
I'm not mm. saying, you know, there's just a little bit. I'm just very curious as to yeah, how you no, would. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's not a lot of pressure. It's just like, what do I think of you as a person overall? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, man. See, I could make arguments for Wait, a so few I, different ones. I want to know, but. out of, I want to know how you would describe me as a communicator, and then I will tell you how I describe you as a communicator. Okay. All and right. then you have to guess, of course, because I already yeah, know yeah, yours, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I can't guess. Emily, I have a guess for you, but yes, you I can't wait. First. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, I'll, so I feel like uh, as a communicator, man, because you're a very good communicator, and I find and live you're like this too, where like because you are both very studied in like psychology and very interested in psychology, you have the ability to code switch. I feel like both of you have the ability to communicate kind of however things need to be communicated um which makes me for you emily lean towards water in the sense where you are uh i i feel like you're just a real you're just an empath but that might also just be because that's your sun sign so it's hard to say um but i feel like you are I don't know if I'd say you're like an emotional communicator, though. That's why that's tough. So I, I'm going to take that back. I think I'm going to say, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, um... No, I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to I think I'm going to stick with I think I'm going to stick with stick water with, water. Uh, with my second guess being fire, because I think as a communicator, you are productive. I would I would call you a productive communicator. I'd say you're very like, well, let's get to the let's get to the source. Let's get to the problem. And let's like okay. talk about what needs to be talked about with uh, with a little bit of uh, a peppering of influence in there. It's not just like, oh, this is my opinion. Like you do have the want, the desire to like have the other person kind of be on the same page mm -hmm. as you. Okay, I think I would say. All right, at then risk what's your of guess? looking I'm real so, dumb. I'm so curious. <laughs> Oh. What's my guess? Yeah. I think you're a Gemini, Mercury. Okay. The Are specific you... sun. <laughs> Are you ready for my answer? I'm going to look like a full cancer. Gemini is air, by the way. Uh, you are. You're a Cancer? I am okay. a Cancer. Okay. Yep. I was and back so, and forth between water and fire, but well, I... So here's what I want to... <laughs> I want to validate for you a couple of things, because when Liv was talking about just the different... Um, like all the different water signs and how they communicate. I am definitely someone who sits back and observes the situation first. So when I'm communicating, mm. I need to make sure that I feel like I know how to communicate for my current environment, if that makes sense, because I'm uncomfortable communicating when I don't feel safe. So for you, John, to say like that I will come at things like okay let's just like get down to it i'm very comfortable with you you make me feel safe right which is why that's hard for me to so see. i know how you communicate with me right and so <laughs> but... with you i am very like okay so here's actually how i'm feeling here's what i need like yeah because i'm comfortable and in a safe place to do so if i'm in an unknown situation i am definitely 110 percent in the background like okay Interesting. how am i going to come into this and how am i going to like approach oh, this yeah. Oh, heard so, because and very, very intuitive for how other people are feeling towards either the situation or towards me in the moment is going to be how I'm approaching something. So, yeah, that's my and that's my take. <laughs> cancers can be very inward and introverted as well, which is where that like might not necessarily show the emotions, even if you're feeling them. Mm -hmm. um, so that makes sense in my opinion for like in a group setting especially when you're not the most comfortable um, yeah you're gonna be a little more introverted and I've had people too like my boss when I first met her I was like oh I'm like super shy and she's like no you're not and I'm like well there's also this like part of me who's like okay well in this situation how do I need to present myself like like she had no idea that I was like a super anxious person right because I come into work in a place where I know I have to be a certain way to get where I want to go in my career. So I walk in and I'm like, this is what I have to do for myself to get mm -hmm. where I need to go. So I also tend to adjust like kind of the way I'm 
appearing communication wise too. Like I walked into my interview with her and I was like, hi, I'm Emily. And here's what I've done. You know, like very forward, very like, yeah, right to the point. Liv, correct me if I'm wrong, but the way that you are, you often present yourself has to do with your rising sign, right? Usually. Um, Yes. So it is, it's like your outward expression. I think it's like your first impression sign. Uh, Okay. And Emily, what is your rising out of curiosity? What's your guess? Oh, (laughs) I handed that to you on a plate. Uh, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess it's air and I'm going to guess Libra. Mm-mm. Liv? No. <laughs> no, Liv's like, you're wrong. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Um, my guess is Sagittarius. Ooh, or oh. Or fire, but Sagittarius is my guess. A Virgo. <gasps> no way. A Virgo. I'm a Virgo rising. Yep. And I'm a Virgo moon. Wow. Yes, my are. moon is in Taurus. I have a very, like, uh, Earth. earthy. I'm very earthy. The only. The only yeah. fire sign I have in my chart, I believe, is Saturn. I believe my Saturn's in... I can look it up, actually. I can tell you. Yeah. Is it an Aries? Is it an Aries? It would be yeah. Aries, yeah. Because um, <laughs> it, well, it's uh, a little more generationally because Saturn's farther away from the sun, so it takes longer to rotate um, throughout the lines. Um, so, and mine is in Taurus. So for y'all, that would mean it's probably in interesting. Aries. Or... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, interesting. Um, all right, so in the interest of time, I would yes. like to play a game with both we have you a game. and Liv. Yeah, surprise Emily game. I thought of. Games. I love games. Games are the best, and it's kind of similar games to the. So oh, fun. wait! Before we get into the game, I wanted to say, John, that I think of you like how I think of you as a communicator, so that it's equal. Sure. Yeah. 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 Roast me. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> drag me let's do it (laughs) no i think i think a couple of things i think because i think our communication also like in our relationship for as long as we've known each other has changed like on both ends and i'd have to say when we were first becoming friends in high school you were very like you're conscientious of (laughs) of hurting people's feelings like you will (laughs) you will definitely like take a step back and be like well and come in at it as like a uh, a very like nice approach and now you'll tell me how you feel (laughs) now you'll be like no (laughs) yeah (laughs) like i i don't want that but you do it in a very you do it in a way that's still you're still conscientious of the way that you deliver what you're trying to communicate because you'd be like i don't mm-hmm. want you to think this and it's like john i'm not gonna think that because of like how we are right but you're doing right. it because you're like i don't want this to come off a certain way but you definitely are over here like okay so i like that but how about <laughs> this is better um yeah. <laughs> and i think you have I, I i actually like that about you because that's something that i struggle to do because i'm over here like yeah, maybe we could try that. And then I'm like walking away like, like that's wrong. <laughs> that's incorrect. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, I think you are, I think you are definitely very like to the point you're efficient with the way you communicate. Um, and I think, again, I, I really would describe you as like straight to the point, like, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I want. And um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i describe it. i appreciate that i mean I, I i i try that's been after a lot of uh a lot of self-work to get to yeah. that point because but i I'll... also think too relationship wise mm-hmm. right like yeah. like that's just again i think you're in a place with me too where you're comfortable so like you don't yeah feel the comfortable need to... ish oh okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't know we're we're fine <laughs> we're <I think>. fine <laughs> No, my, my favorite like thing is... slightly concerning. <laughs> my favorite thing is listening to you talk about me, um, like, in high school, because boy, oh boy, what a mess. Uh, <laughs> both of I us, mean, both I don't of know. us, yeah. But, um, <laughs> well, but just the way... No, but you're right, because I definitely, like, had my thoughts, but was like, what if I express them and people disagree? 
and then I have to change them. And then I, I don't want people to think that I'm being too pushy. And I've really tried to just work on my own confidence in myself and be like, oh, hey, these are my thoughts. And I want to communicate very clearly that these are my thoughts. And now with that in mind, and I think the what makes it more of an earth thing than a fire thing is I really do try to be like, you know, these are my thoughts and this is where I stand. Now I would love to hear where you stand. Uh, and I've also worked, I've worked, I'm not great at it, but I've worked on my ability to like be a little more flexible and be like, oh, okay, I hear that. Oh yeah, okay, sure. And find compromise and not just be like, oh, sick that those are your thoughts. Um, but no. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you're also, you're Capricorn, Mercury, yeah? Yeah. So you are so i think a lot of the time we can grow into um certain signs i think saturn's one of them mercury's one of them and i think your moon is one of them um where you mm. might not see it as much in your childhood but you see it a little bit more in your adulthood as you're growing I feel that. um and i think your virgo moon has kicked in and works very well with your capricorn mercury um in the sense of they are like, how do we solve this problem? One, which can be the Virgo moon, but then the Capricorn is like, but how do we make it good overall? How do we like, how, mm. what am I saying yeah. right now that will affect the situation? Like in overall, just like next week or like in your life. So that's a big Capricorn thing. I think they think very Sick. overall, whereas Virgo might be in the moment. But, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. That makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense. Okay, so so for our game, um, yeah, give here, us the game. here are the rules. Um, and here's why it's an interesting game. Okay. It's because I'm going to give you a celebrity, and you're going to tell me what their sign is. Oh, no. I Liv did is going this to... with my kids. Liv is going I'm to so destroy excited. me. And, and so... what's interesting, what I think will be interesting about this, right, is like we have their outward appearance social media wise and we don't really know them so it'll be interesting right. to see like if they kind of like line up or whatever so sure. i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve celebrities these are these are just okay. ones that auto populated all right for me. Can, so we'll try to we're gonna want to try to mm -hmm. can i ask a few questions of course so there's 12 celebrities are they all a different zodiac sign or do we have some repeats? Some of them are um, repeats. Great. So no okay. hints. Yeah. So no hints. Um, no hints, no help. Great, great, great. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, what was my other question? Yeah. Oh, what was it? Oh, are we doing sun sign specifically or are we doing Mercury? Yes. Sun sign? Sun, sun sign specifically. Okay. Yeah. A cool I mean, recurring... I can actually click on all of them uh, and look up their the whole chart. Yeah. You want to do Mercury signs then? Because uh, I mean, I don't know how these people communicate. <laughs> I feel like I think I, I personally, I think sun signs, but cool. you All know, right. it, it's a running, um, a reoccurring joke on this podcast where Emily has me guess things. <laughs> it's really oh. fun and f cute and silly for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Number one, Harry Style. I'll let John go first. I... But. <laughs> I'm going to let All John right. go Harry first. Harry Styles, my Harry favorite Styles. artist. I love, I know everything there is to know about Harry Styles. And what I know for a fact, without any question, because he's, <sighs> all right. So we got a pop superstar who broke off from One Direction and did Don't his own thing. It. And now, <laughs> come on, who are you talking to? What are you saying? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say. I'm mm, going to keep track of points. This is going to be a competition. Because it's hard for me to not say that every celebrity is a fire sign is like my go-to idea. Harry Styles, I could, I, I'm going to say Libra. I'm going to say Libra. Okay. Liv. You're close, dude. He's an Aquarius. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is an Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I, just I like how you the... so factually were like you're really close, but no, the right answer is Aquarius. <laughs> no, he's an Aquarius. I got air I... sign right. You were close. I just Good know, I know that also... all he's all very Libras are just attractive. Are yeah, exactly. Yes. Good job. So, thank Good you. Job. Thank you. Guess. I'm learning great so much. <laughs> yeah. All right. But no, he's an Aquarius. All right. 
He is. All right, next up is... Actually, um, I have a couple of celebrities that I'd like to put out there also. It's not really part of the game, but we'll just... So we'll just keep going. I guess I'll just <laughs> say it now. Are Charlie Day or Abby Jacobson, are either of them on your list? No. Okay. Then I'm just going to say uh, they... One thing I love is that I have always related... Not like related, but in the It's Always Sunny uh, cast, because I love them. Of all of them, I've always been like, oh, I'm totally a Charlie. And in Broad City, between Abby and Alana, I've always been like, oh, I'm totally an Abby. 100%. Both of them are Aquariuses, I found out recently. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. moving on. Ariana Grande. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Hey, these are my people. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're just handing it to live right now. Uh, Do I make Ariana... it Ariana. No! <laughs> <laughs> Ariana, I would absolutely say, is a Taurus. Liv. Earth. No, she's an Aquarius. No, 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 no. She's a Cancer, not an Aquarius. She's a Cancer. She yeah. is a Cancer. Liv has two points. She's John has zero. All right. She's, her birthday is June 26th, I think. She's That's crazy. Yep. How do you... Ugh, all right. I yep. love her. <laughs> yeah. You're not looking this her. up, right? No. Okay. I'll, I'll keep my hands here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I bet. <laughs> All right. Donald Trump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point to both of us. <laughs> um, Scorpio? Like, do I, do I just say Scorpio? Like, um... Why do you... <laughs> fire. No. I'm going to say fire. Uh, which is not a Scorpio, and I'm going to say... Wait, I just want to know quickly why you would say fire. Because um, I personally don't think, like, I wouldn't describe him as a fire sign. Uh, interesting. See, that might just be my lack of uh, education in it, but I just... And then, you know, this is the stereotype with fire signs, but I just see the aggression, you know? Okay. The uh... I, I could see him with a fire moon, like an Aries moon, potentially, or like a just fire placements because he's so aggressive and horrible um <laughs> but no he's not a fire oh sign. my god he actually he doesn't. doesn't have a lot of he doesn't have really? oh he has he doesn't have a sign signs. he doesn't have one. he was never born it turns out <laughs> <laughs> he anyway was constructed i'm sorry go ahead. he is a <laughs> wait what's your final guess aries uh, i know what he is He's no. a Gemini. He's a Gemini. Yeah. yeah. He's a Gemini. Um, but he actually has a lot of... So his moon is in Sagittarius. It's fine. His Mercury is in Cancer. Okay. His Venus is in Cancer. Oh. His Mars is in Leo. Jupiter That's in Libra. It. That's it. It's the Leo the Mars. and Leo. Sorry. Talk talk about that for a second. What, what that means. Ooh. Oh, my God. Well, okay. So I'd like to point out that this is a very unhealthy version of like these right. signs where every not sign has like their this. more or less developed yes versions. and this man is a narcissist and, <laughs> um, it, so yeah um so leos are, are the center of attention sign are the must be seen and heard sign um <laughs> in the sense of that means they could be like the life of the party but also that could mean that it has to be about them um, right. and, and that what is mars are huge mars is the planet of confrontation and aggression Oh. oh, so, so in, in regards to his aggression, well, he is the center of attention. So let's look cute at like even like the cute and quirky. Um, but like well, his even, rising like, is debates. also Leo. Oh my god, yeah. So like the debates, like if you look at like the Biden debate, him just talking over him constantly and just like not letting him get a word in. It must be about him. It must he must be the center of attention in any debate in any room that he's in. All right, let's go to our next celebrity. Sorry, yeah. All sorry, right, ready? Sorry. No, it's okay. It's... Lana Del Rey. Oh, Lionel God. Del Rey. Um, I don't sorry. know. I don't know. Oh, man. Um, I have just like, if you think about her music, mm -hmm. it makes sense to me. I mean, I'm looking at okay. these. If I had to, like, blank, point blank guess them, I probably wouldn't get them right. But, like, it makes sense when, like, you Do you hear know? It. Lana's music. Have you listened? I know to Lana it. I, I don't listen to her okay. regularly, but um, water. Okay. <laughs> I feel like yeah. 
Um, but in terms of a specific sign, Cancer? Liv, what is your guess? My guess was Cancer or Scorpio. She's a Cancer! Yeah. John Good gets job. one point. Yeah. Liv, you yeah. get another Ooh. point. <laughs> Liv said Cancer or, or Scorpio. I said or. Yeah, but you still said it, so I'm giving no. you a point. Yeah, all right. Thank you. But my point means more to me. All right, ready? <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> I, oh, I gotta believe yes. fire. I gotta believe. Um, oh man, um, I feel like Aries. Liv, just a hard. No, worker. she's a Virgo. She's she a, is Virgo. a Virgo. Oh she's wow, Virgo. nice. Um, but a hard worker. Um, she's also a perfectionist. She yeah, does which is details. Virgo. I you never see Beyonce slipping. No. Um, she no scandals except when they're caused by other people. Like just yeah she's clean and good all right Runs the weekend shit. well weekend oh abel yes my man uh, i don't I know i one. don't know i do not I, know um i i i'm gonna guess something it's just gonna be a random guess um cool. go ahead i don't know uh leo all right Liv. I think he's an Aries. An Aquarius. Really? Oh. Okay. Wow. Yep. I thought I read he was an Aries. I don't know enough wow. about the weekend personally. <laughs> we haven't we haven't had too many lunches. Uh oh, you know, we 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 ha uh, I mean I I listen to all he has to say every day of my life, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway, Doja Cat. <laughs> doja oh wait a minute i want to get this one uh i feel like uh, I, f I feel like doja has to be fire um but i also wonder if that's a trick and she's an aquarius because she's weird but i suppose <laughs> <she's> <laughs> i love so her i love her as a celebrity i love i think her music is great but i love her as a celebrity like as a personality even more um yeah. I i'm gonna stick with aquarius okay Liv. I think she's a Libra. She might be a Scorpio, but I think she's a Libra. She's a Libra. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You all, were close all, to Libras, all Libras yeah. are hot. All Libras. All you can Libras have a half hot. point. John, you can have a half point for your uh for getting your air. Air? Okay. I'll take that half point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think I'm winning. Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna. Riri. Honestly, this one surprises me. This this is a because of her outward appearance, like how she I, portrays I, herself. I, that's almost what I was feeling because I was like the way that she portrays herself. Like again, it's hard to not say that every celebrity is fire. I almost want to say Earth. I want to say Capricorn. All right, Liv. Ooh, I don't really know either. I feel like I read that she was in Aries. However, Capricorn would also make sense because she's like a businesswoman. Like she's a working girl. She's um, a Pisces. She's a Pisces. Really? Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Really? All right, Taylor Swift. Oh. I I want to say like water, uh, Pisces, but like, is that a trick? Um, I think I would have guessed Pisces if the last one wasn't Pisces. Um. So. Uh, I don't know, maybe Scorpio. Okay, Liv. No, she's not a Scorpio. I know that no. for sure. Um, no, but I don't know when Taylor's birthday is either. I think I'm gonna go Earth root. Taurus, I'm gonna guess. She's a Sagittarius. Oh. Wow. So Liv, interesting. <laughs> I would give you a half a point, but I'm not going to just because you're already winning. <laughs> so. <laughs> Billy Eilish. <gasps> Billy. People have been telling me I look like Billy Eilish recently. Compliment. I could see that. Thank you. I Does that mean I look like, like Billy Eilish? No. I guess so. <laughs> I guess it, it must be the conclusion. Um, we used to look exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. And then you and grew then up. I grew out my personality. <laughs> um, <laughs> Billy. Uh, I don't know, I Billy. Know. I don't know what Billy would be. Um, maybe like a. I, I get Aquarius vibes from Billy. She's not be weird, um, but no, she's a Sagittarius. 
She is a Sagittarius. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. Drake. I don't know. Uh, Gemini. That's my guess, too. Yeah. Is Gemini. Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh. Okay. And then last Great. but not least, our lovely Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Kim. <laughs> Kim. Kimberly. Kim uh, yeah, Taurus. Is she a Libra? She is a Libra. Yeah, that makes more Ooh. sense. <laughs> um, well, she just passed the bar exam. Actually, she yes. just did it. Um, did, did she? Did you not know that? Yeah, I she's did not know this. A, she wants to be a lawyer. Well, because she uses a lot of her platform um, for um, prison reform and. Um, Get it. Did you not? Yeah, I didn't. Um, I knew nothing very, about that. I'm so out of the loop. It's very oh my cool God. of her. No, it's that's very, very cool, cool of her. her. So she's trying to get prisoners um, out of prison uh, for I think drug crimes specifically because you shouldn't. Be wow. For drugs. So, yeah, like people who are getting like death sentence for um, like for weed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Garbage. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, before we up. wrap up, uh, I don't. Wait, do I'm we? Gonna, did did you guess what she was? Did I answer that? What happened? <laughs> yeah, she was Libra. <laughs> Where are we? I don't know why all of a sudden my mind just went blank, and I was like, "Wait!" Did oh I wait, answer yeah. This so what's question? who who won? We're all on the edge of our seats. <laughs> so John, yeah. you have a whopping one and a half points, <laughs> and Liv, you it's have a whole point more than I thought I would get. Eight, eight out of twelve. Not Ooh. bad. All right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, before we wrap up, I was going to put Liv on the spot here a little bit. I was wondering if you have any uh, quick pieces of advice in terms of earth, fire, water, and air communicators. If you can give a little like, like a little like, hey, earth signs do this. Fire signs do this. Water signs do this. Air signs do Let's this. Let's try it. Let's try it Let's out. Start with fire. Um, fire, try to think more before you talk um try it try to think a little bit more there's nothing wrong with uh talking about your feelings and being emotional however comma try not to be as impulsive uh, when you're communicating um right. earth listen to other perspectives try to view the other perspective um because like your ideas are great they're wonderful I'm not saying they're bad but other people have thoughts too so listen to them <laughs> <laughs> um that was earth let's do air um air it can be scary to communicate it can be difficult it can be hard and that's okay do it at your own pace go at your own pace babe um it'll be fine you'll you'll get it going <laughs> um uh but yeah and remember to be present um when you're communicating with people Ooh, water you're feeling so much um and that's okay <laughs> <laughs> feel as much as you want <laughs> Feel you as much feel as you whatever got. you want to feel. You feel whatever you want to feel, and don't let people make you feel bad for that. But be careful to not use it against them. Um, so sometimes those feelings can sometimes be uh, used in like manipulation tactics, or like can just be used in general instead of like for you. So have your feelings be about you and not necessarily about the other person. Does that make sense? It does. Uh, unfortunately, it this does. Was... <laughs> Sorry, <am> I... <laughs> no, this was <laughs> that was a uh, very good advice. All right, so for our wrap up for today, John, what is rule number one or point number one? So I guess it's well, a rule at this point. What's the rule? It's a rule. It's a rule number one. Uh, Liv, you're you're new to this, but uh, you have to know rule number one. Always, what we've learned every episode is pet some dogs. You Just... got to go pet some dogs. Get out there Get out in the dogs. street. Mercury's in retrograde. You know what you got to do? Pet some dogs. Exactly. Go out there and pet some dogs. And it, it physically yeah. removes Mercury from retrograde uh, when enough dogs are pet. Sure. Scientifically proven. I guess my second point for today is whether or not you believe in astrology or whatever you believe in, let's just all try to be better communicators. Just work on it in whatever method works yeah. for you. Yes. And my last uh, little wrap up is thank you, Liv. Thank, thank you, for you Liz. Us. Thank you for Today, joining us. It's been wonderful having you here. It's been um, so much fun. So fun. You know, we'll have to do this again sometime. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All right, everybody. We'll have a wonderful rest of your whenever you're listening to this. So I'll say day. Day, um, night, <laughs> afternoon, And we will morning. see you next time on Mental Sync. There you go. Bye, guys. Goodbye. Okay, are we happy?